In this video, I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to install the turn signal and hazard light kit on this John Deere XUV 835M. Now also keep in mind that if you're wanting to install this kit on your Gator, you're going to want to make sure to have that front attachment wiring harness kit. And if you don't have that or want to see how to install that, make sure to check out the links in the description below to check those out. If you'll stick with me here, guys, we'll get started. So first things first, let's go over what parts are going to come in the kit and then also the tools we're going to need to do this install. So the kit itself is going to come in a pretty small box. It's just going to have our two turn signal lights our hazard light switch and our turn signal switch and of course an instruction manual here that you can use along with this video to make sure that you're doing all those things properly. Now as far as tools go, we are going to want that drill. We're going to want our T40 star bit socket here and an eight millimeter socket. Now the tools are mainly just going to be used for taking that dash, that top dash panel off so we can get back behind to do the install of our switches. As far as installing the lights goes, this flathead screwdriver is gonna come in handy as we will have a couple of pop-outs that we'll need to take out of the front. As we can see right here in this diagram, we have our headlight there to the right, and then to the left of that is going to be the pop-out that we're going to remove from the front of the machine so we can install these lights. So from here, guys, we'll go ahead and jump in the machine, start taking off that top dash panel so we can install those switches. So we're moving this top dash panel, and by that I mean this piece right here that's going to have your cup holders, sits right behind your dash, has your windshield clasp on it. This piece here is the piece we're going to need to remove so we can expose the back side of this dash to be able to get to those plugs that our switches will go into so we can control our turn signals or our hazard lights. So first thing we're gonna do is grab our drill and our eight millimeter socket here. This is gonna be the size we need to remove our windshield clasp. We just have two bolts here. We'll go ahead and pop those off. All right, make sure to put those in a safe place so we don't lose them. And then next, we're gonna go ahead and grab that T40 star head bit. And we've got six screws in this front panel, one on each corner, and then four here in the middle that we're gonna need to remove. And then after that, we'll have two pop out clips on each side on the front side of this dash that will show that it'll fully release this top panel. So we'll go ahead and remove these screws. All right, now that we've got those loose, we'll move around here to the inside and show you how to remove those pop-out clips. Pop-out clips that I'm talking about are gonna be these two that sit right here above our switches to the left-hand side of our steering wheel. As you can see, there are two right there that are connected to this top dash panel. And then we'll have two also across the way over there to the right-hand side of our glove box. Now, this is where our flathead screwdriver is also gonna come in handy here, as what we're going to do is wedge that between the top button and the base there of our clip and we're simply going to wiggle that top button up and out and once we get that up and out we'll go under the base of that clip and then just simply pop that out and then we'll just do the same thing for all four of those all right we'll move around to the other side same thing over here like i said just to the right of our glove box All right, now once you have all of your screws on top and your four pop-out clips removed, next what we're gonna do is start to lift and pull off this top panel. First thing you're wanna, gonna wanna do is start over here on the right-hand side and open up that glove box as that will be covering part of this top panel. And then we're just going to grab right there where those pop-outs were and start to pull this up and out. Just wanna be real gentle, make sure we're not gonna break any of this plastic here. Okay, we'll get that up and out, get everything loose over here. Then we'll come back across to the side we started on and we'll start to lift up and out as well. Now we wanna be careful when we're on this side as we do have our instrument cluster here and the hardest junction to get loose is right here to the left side of our instrument cluster. And we just wanna be very careful that we don't damage anything there. So just nice and easy, get it popped up and out. And same thing here. All right, and once we have everything loose there, we can simply remove this piece, get it out of our way, and now we can start to install those switches now that we have everything exposed 
on the back side here. Now, like I said in the beginning, to do this install, we have to have that front attachment wiring harness as that's going to be the harness that supplies the plugs for these various attachments. For instance, here, we've already installed a horn kit on this machine and also a dual uh, beam headlight kit or deluxe headlight kit. So another open switch or plug that we'll have is going to be this, this green one here rather, that is going to have the symbol that matches our switch here for those turn signals. So what you'll do next is, We'll reach back behind as this turn signal switch will go right here. We're going to pop that out and then we'll take our switch and we'll match up the prongs of our switch with the terminals in our plug. Now you'll notice that the terminals that are being used do have that grease there in them. So we just want to make sure and match up those prongs with the terminals on our plug. Then we'll simply slide that through and we'll take our switch plug it in and push it down in firm until it seats onto the, the plug here. You'll hear that click. So once we have the switch pushed down onto the plug, you wanna leave it just as it is, leave it open here. Don't go ahead and seat the switch down into the panel because next we need to go and install our turn signal lights and then check to see if we're in the right direction here as it will not show you in the manual which way to turn the plug or the switch to make sure that you're going to the left or the right side. So leave this open, go ahead and leave your top dash panel open so you can get to everything. And then from here, we're gonna go ahead and move to the front and install those turn signals. So our first step to installing these turn signals is going to be removing this reflector and also the pop out that sits behind it. So just grab that flathead screwdriver and peel back that reflector as you won't need that anymore. And then you'll see here that this is already cut out partially. So what we can do is we can take our screwdriver, stick it in between there and start to push in on this pop out and just start to work that out. You need to go around, it's connected in multiple places here. So we'll just work that out. Now we wanna make sure and not damage the existing outlet there. So another good option here, just being very careful would be either a razor knife or a pocket knife. Cut those out. All right, just like that, we've got one out. Now we're just gonna wanna make sure and do that on both sides. Then our next step will be going in with our turn signal. Now, what you'll be looking for is a plug on the back side, which we'll show in a minute. That is a three prong that matches what we have here on this turn signal. And also you'll notice that there are a couple of these clips here on either side that we are going to have to match up. You'll have two notches on either side that those clips will match up to. So you'll just go in with the light until you feel them click into place right there and right there. Just make sure to do that on both sides. All right, so next we wanna go ahead and hook these lights up to that harness. Now what we're looking for is this tannish color plug here that matches the housing on the back of our turn signal light. So all we need to do is simply find the clip side, which will look like this to match up with our clip here on the bottom. And then we will just simply install that by going on until we hear that clip. Make sure it's snug into place and just make sure to do that on both sides. Okay, so now that we have the lights installed, we have the wiring hooked up onto the back of those lights. Remember that this is the part that we wanna make sure and check before we close up this panel and before we install our hazard light switch is to make sure that our turn signal switch is going in the right direction. So you're gonna turn the key on there, give the machine power. Now here I'm gonna be pushing the left arrow. As we see there are left turn signals on and then we'll go ahead and try our right and it is on. And then also while you're here, guys, this machine is wired up with the bed that it has. It will have those rear turn signals as well. So we wanna check those as well to make sure that they're on. So go ahead and turn those on and then run back there to the back. We've got our left. And we've got our right. Now from here, we can install that hazard light switch and make sure that it's working as well. Okay, so last step to getting the installation done before we button everything up is installing our hazard switch and also making sure that those hazards are working 
like they're supposed to. So since we have the dash all exposed here, we're gonna reach back and what we're looking for is this red plug here that has the hazard symbol just like what is on our switch. And then next what we will do is we'll pick which pop out of these six here on the front of the dash that we wanna use. So we'll go ahead and reach behind and pop out this top middle or whichever one you prefer. Next, we'll go ahead and look here at our terminals and look at our switch just to make sure that we get those matched up correctly. And then we will go through the front side of the dash with that plug. And once we get that through, then we will go on with our switch. Once again, just making sure that that switch seats firm into the plug and goes all the way in until it snaps in. And then we can just simply push our switch in just like that. And then from here, guys, we can go ahead and move out to the front of the machine, make sure that those hazards are working. And if we push our switch here, we can see right there on the brush guard itself that we can see those lights flashing. So we know that those hazards are working. All right, guys, so that's it. That's all it takes to install the turn signal and hazard lights onto the John Deere XUV 835M. Now, if you're watching this and you're thinking this is something that you definitely need for your machine, maybe you're using it on the roadways, you're going from place to place and just wanna have that safety feature, I'll make sure to leave a link in the description below where you can go to purchase this kit. It's part number B. UC 10608. So make sure to check that out if you think this is something that you need. And then also guys, remember, like I said in the beginning of the video, if you don't have that front attachment wiring harness, or if you have it, or you're planning on getting it and wanna see how to do it, I'll leave two links in the description below where you can go to either purchase it or also watch the video of how to install it. Now also guys, if you watch this video, if you like this video and it helps you out, we just ask that you'd please give us a like and subscribe to our channel as that helps us out as well. And as always guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Hey guys, make sure to go buy your parts right here and subscribe right here.